is our MERS farm equipment crop tour. Uh, so we've done a few crop tours. We did one back in 2018. This one's gonna be a little more extensive. So what we're doing from MERS farm equipment standpoint is we're t setting that planter up. We've got all precision planting on it. We've got clean sweep, furrow force, VSEP, um, delta down force, all kinds of stuff that we've got set on that planter. Um, so we're adjusting the planter. We're doing excessive down force, light down force, um, then letting the down force set itself. We're doing different depths, um, inch, inch and a half, two, two and a half, three and three and a half inch depth to see if that has any effect on it. We've also adjusted the pressure on the furrow force. So I just got out of the tractor and we were doing the furrow force test and half of the planter, or, or for the clean sweep, excuse me, on, on we did both. The furrow force test, we put 60 pounds of pressure on the, those closing systems. We let it set at standard, which was about 30 pounds of pressure. And then we took all the pressure off with zero pounds of pressure. Just let the, the gravity take care of uh, the furrow force. The second test we did then was the clean sweep. Clean sweep, we put half the planter and we pinned the row cleaners down. So the row cleaners were set down, fixed row cleaners essentially. And the other half of the planter we lifted up and pinned them up so that there was no row cleaner at all on that side of the planter. That delta downforce map with the side that had the, the pinned clean sweep, the pinned row cleaners, that delta downforce tried to push that planter down with 450 plus pounds of uh, down pressure. On the side that there was no clean, or, uh, clean sweep, no row cleaner at all, we had 100, 150 pounds of pressure. So you can see how much difference about 500 pounds of pressure, 3, 400 pounds of pressure difference between having fixed row cleaners versus no row cleaners. So to allow clean sweep to do its job across the field gets that pressure set right. So that's the importance of clean sweep. We'll take that to yield. We'll show you what yield difference that makes. We'll do the furrow force test. Furrow force is fairly new to precision planning. So furrow force test is going to, um, this is probably one of the first furrow force tests that's out there. Again, it's an airbag system where you've got uniform air pressure across the back of that planter on those closing wheels. And what it's doing is it's setting that, it's, it's breaking down the sidewall and then it's stitching the soil back on top. So essentially when we went to dig, you couldn't find the furrow. It was really difficult to find where the seed was because it was like it was just magically placed in the ground. There was no furrow to, to be checking. No sidewalls were there. So really excited to see what that does. Of course, the Delta Downforce study, um, people have done that for a number of years. We're gonna take that again. Um, and then we partnered with Channel. So Channel Seed um, is what we're using here. Um, we've got the Channel, Channel Agronomist here for Southeast Nebraska that's doing some studies over here where um, you'll hear from him in a minute. And then you've also um, got Butch Keithley, uh, Brandon Keithley from um, Conklin who's gonna do some studies with uh, liquid nitrogen and some liquid applications um, on what they're gonna do down there. So we've got multiple different studies. We're gonna have um, a customer event in late July, early August. So we'll have a customer event where we'll invite everybody down. You can walk through this. The field will be open um, at all times. So anybody in the Fall City area or the general area, if you wanna come, it's open at any times. We'll have field signs out. We're gonna to try to have everything marked so you, that you can look, at, um, walk through on a Sunday afternoon um, with your wife. I'm sure this is exactly what your wife wants to do on a Sunday afternoon. Let's go walk the crop to her. So bring her on over, take her to lunch first, make her happy, and then bring her over and walk through a, a, a corn plot to her. Um, but guys, this is stuff that we're purposely screwing the planter up. We're doing this on purpose to show what, um, you don't mean to make these mistakes, but we're, we're just, we're using the same um, ways. Grandpa used to plant this way, so we plant this way. That's great, your grandpa was a very intelligent man. But there's technology available today on that planter and out there that you can put on your planter that it will make you a better farmer. Take what grandpa said, that's a good starting base, but then take what that planter is doing. That planter back there is telling us what moisture is in this furrow, what the ground temperature is, and, and the application of what we're actually doing. It's, it's adjusting that down pressure, not setting it on the second notch and going. You know, that was great for grandpa to do it that way. Um, but grandpa didn't have a, a half million dollar combine to pay for. Grandpa didn't have a quarter million dollar tractor on the front of his planter. We've got 
to be smarter with what we're doing, and we can't just do it the same way we've always done it. We have to be better year after year, day after day. And the best way to do better next year is to know what's happening this year and to know what mistakes you made this year. So learn from our mistakes. We're purposely out here making mistakes so that we can show you guys what needs to be done in your own field. I'm Austin Mers. I'm the technical agronomist with Channel Hybrids here in Southeast Nebraska. Uh, partnered up with Mitch, uh, had the opportunity. He was gonna do a plot here with a bunch of precision trials as far as different planner settings, everything like that. Uh, as far as channel, what we're gonna do is kinda have a uh, hybrid comparison over here with about 14 different hybrids in it. More of just a show plot, so when guys are out here looking at the plot, they have an opportunity to gain some exposure with channel and some of their products. Uh, as far as agronomic studies that we're doing with Mitch, uh, gonna have the opportunity to have a drone come out and apply some fungicide and then also we're gonna have a couple uh, side dress applications throughout the season to uh, check fertility and some different things like that above what he's doing. I uh, just thought it was a great opportunity uh, to gain exposure for Mitch on the precision side and then also with Channel uh, when guys are out here looking at fields. So gonna have lots of good information off of this when we take it to yield and lots of opportunities to see a lot of different things and planner settings and how things develop through the year. Uh, my name is Brandon Keithley and I am with the Conklin Company and we are here today at the uh, MERS Farm Plot Tour. Uh, Mitch MERS invited us to be a part of this uh, plot this year uh, as we kind of all have a, a couple different directions we're looking at. You know, uh, of course, Mitch with the equipment and Austin with the seed and uh, we get the opportunity to bring a little bit of fertility into the mix. Uh, fertility and equipment both, I guess. Uh, we're looking at uh, our precision planting furrow jets and we're also looking at our VA Ply HD modules as well and uh, being able to control and kind of adjust different rates of those products. So uh, the product specifically, uh, we're looking at comparing a, a orthophosphate versus a polyphosphate, uh, a green acid versus a white acid phosphor uh, fertilizer, and basically uh, trying to see what we can do with adding starter fertilizer onto our planters, putting it in the ideal place with the furrow jet, and uh, running some different rates. Uh, so what can we do to kind of maybe start to balance some of the uh, some of the, the balance between dry and liquid fertilizer. How can we place it better and more efficient by putting it right in the furrow uh, versus kind of broadcast it over the top? Uh, you know, uh, right now uh, our, on our plot, we're actually looking at conventional tillage uh, just because we, we need to clean some things up. And so, yeah, conventional tillage has its pros and cons, but uh, if, we, you know, the, the downside of dry fertilizer, we believe, is, uh, is that efficiency factor. So. Uh, if we can go out there and we don't have to conventional tillage and we can put the, the nutrients right where we need it, uh, we're even way more efficient than uh, using a traditional dry program. So uh, we're looking at dry versus liquid and uh, using a couple of those uh, precision planting tools that we have available to us.